Okay, the first thing we're going to do in this video is we're going to install. Let's grab. Let's go and grab WAMP. Let's go over here and type in WAMP because we need a server and we need some PHP. So we're going to go to WAMP and we're going to click on download and we're going to go for 64 bit. Uh, I'm running this on a Surface Pro 3. Um, it's an i5 processor and this is a little confusing I know uh, we're just gonna say download directly right here and it should automatically start here in a second and I'm using Google Chrome so I'm over here It's a little slow today. It's interesting. It should have been really, really fast, but that's okay. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is while we're waiting, we're going to go to Cincha.com. And what we want to do is go to Products and go to Tools and go to Architect because that's going to be the core of this course. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to say now I have a premium subscription. So I have here's the here's the portal I've been using for the last about two years I just saw today that they had this up here so I was like let me check that out so here's the nice new portal I don't have any tickets on this account I did on my old account uh, if I switch to my old previous account complete premium subscription huh where's my tickets at it's my only team member I've never, oh, oh all tickets yeah, see, so I had a couple tickets here. Um, that's okay. <clears throat> uh, we can export tickets. That's kind of cool. This doesn't have the option to see all tickets. It only has the option to see tickets. I wonder if I can export these guys. Uh, no export. Interesting. But yeah, this is the ext 42 Anyhow, so we're gonna go over here. We're gonna say try it for free. And I'm going to go ahead and fill out the form. Company, I'm going to say, see. Well, let me put my cursor in there. Job title, senior. The keyboard on the Service Pro 3 is not the best. Uh, but that's okay. Operating system window 64 bit. I guess I gotta pick one. Tennessee is where I'm at. Okay, so I'm gonna end up getting an email. It's fine. Let's go over here to. No, this keyboard is not my best friend. Alright, my password in here. And I'm going to go to my Gmail. And I should have an architect. Do not. Alright, we'll check back with that as we go. So there's WAMP. I'm going to go to Show and Folder. And there it is. I'm going to cut this out. And I'm gonna go up here to my C drive, or we're gonna go to my D drive. And I'd like to keep a software folder. I'll go ahead and paste him in here. And let's go ahead and load him up. <clears throat> and then we'll finish this video up and I'll go ahead and grab architect. I'm not going to accept that. C WAMP, that's perfect. And do I want to create this folder? Sure. Uh, give me a quick launch and give me a desktop. I'll take both. Uh, install. Let's 
Excuse me. Shouldn't take too terribly long. Let me check my snail mail. There we go, Sincha. And let's go ahead and start that download. We'll multitask, why not? Should pop up down here. There we go. Things working out well so far for us. It's 324 megs. That'll take a little longer. Let's go back over here and check this setup out. Yep, yeah, it's moving. Very nice. So this is installing uh, PHP. It's installing Apache. And a small application called PHP My Admin. Um, Apache's a wonderful web server. Wonderful. Okay, so here it wants your web browser. <clears throat> so I really don't want to use Internet Explorer. I'm just not a big fan. Sorry. Uh, so we'll go to Google. I'm going to go to Program Files x86 Google Chrome application and point it towards my Chrome browser. Uh, so when you hit preview for applications, uh, it, it knows what to do. So would you like to install the new Ant Server 2 homepage? Or the existing? Sure. I've um, not seen that before, but that's okay. And here's for SMTP. So if you wanted to set up an SMTP server, you could. Um, I'm not going to now. We, we may do that later. Um, I have an SMTP server that I use. Uh, Socket Labs is awesome. Awesome. Um, We'll just put it in smtp.socketlabs.com and email. We'll just call this architect at we'll just put something in there. It doesn't really matter what we put in there. Anyways, next. Okay, so finish. We'll go ahead and fire it up. Let's launch it. Let's see what it has. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop this video here just to keep everything simple and small and then we'll come back and we'll install architect and we'll look at WAMP and then we'll secure WAMP and go on about our business okay